arrived in Recife. Brazil has some of the best beaches in the world, so a beach day in Recife is always a good option. But if you fancy something a bit more cultural, you could visit the chapel on the hill or Santa Isabella's Theatre or the Ricardo Brunand Institute. Or you could go and see Olinda or God's Island. Take a catamaran cruise. If you want to walk downtown, come with us and we'll show you what's there. Hi. Can I have a map, please? That's great, thank you very much. We've arrived in Brazil, we're in Recife, and the old town is a 10 minute walk that way. Let's go. Oh, we can get the shuttle bus. Hiya. As we were the only two on the bus, we decided to walk. It's not for everybody and not necessarily advised, but we didn't have a problem. And within 10 minutes, we were there. Recife is a mixture of old and new. Welcome to Recife, the third largest city in northeast Brazil, and visually very exciting because of the mixture of Portuguese and Dutch architecture. It's actually a souvenir shop. As a little tip, everybody seems to warn you not to take jewellery or wear jewellery into town. That includes rings on your fingers, so you might want to leave them in the safe. Definitely don't take a bag. I mean, do not take a bag. We'll show you what happens if you do take a bag and it's not what you expect. Oh, and look out for potholes, potholes and storm drains and storm gullies. Trust me, they're deep. This is the Cultural Museum and the entrance is free. It's worth a look around. Don't fall through the cracks. There's some beautiful paintings in here, but unfortunately there's no English translations. Just one block back from the Recife sign is the Circuit of Poets, like him. I've asked him to tell me a poem, but he won't. He's just looking at me. In this colourful street, you'll find a synagogue amongst the churches, which is unusual. And then a bit further back, there is a carnival museum. Let's go and have a look. This is a carnival museum. There's all different celebrities dressed up like Michael Jackson, etc and you have to pay to get in here. One of the things that's difficult here is changing money. It's easier in Rio, but still not easy. You can change your money back easily in Uruguay where the banks seem far more sensible. We're just having a beer at this little cafe opposite the park, which is full of puppets and used to be a puppet theater and they take card. Do you speak English? Yes. Uh, Ma'am, do you know where you can get a currency exchange? Yeah, no, no, sorry. No, buddy. I saw, a, there's some banks, I yeah, saw it. But they don't do the currency exchange. So we found the Mother of God Church. It's in Mother of God Street, so it's quite logical to find. Let's go and have a look inside. Okay. 
The church facade is made of reef sandstone. Inside the building there are wood carving pieces and precious images from Corpo Santo Matrix, demolished in the early 20th century. A quick look at the internet told me that the Vatican still gets 2% of its annual income from Brazil, despite the poverty. Recife is the third largest city in northeast Brazil and culturally very important. Recife is known as the Venice of Brazil and that's due to the great number of waterways and the picturesque bridges and many, many churches, unfortunately originally built by slaves. These fishermen are working with fishing nets off the bridges, which means I suppose that the water must be quite clear and full of fish. We're in the middle of three bridges. We're going down here and turning left, and that is where I think we'll find the Church of San Antonio. It's what you find as you're walking about that's exciting, like those fishermen there. I've had two ladies stop and tell me that I have to carry my bag over my neck, not my shoulder, otherwise someone will steal it. I told you it wasn't what you expected. The story was the same from all of the cruisers we met on the ship. Everywhere you walk, there are interesting statues, like this guy here and the ones on the bridges. It's a very artistic city. This is San Antonio's church, and inside it's very similar to the last one. Opposite the square is this beautiful church. Let's go and investigate. This is probably the biggest church and it's Basilica di Carmo and on the side they have a convent. The gates look firmly closed on this one but they do have the most beautiful churches often in a square by a market. <laughs> By the end of the 17th century, the Homens Pardos Brotherhood built their chapel. Let's see if it's the same as the others inside. It's not. It's quite beautiful. It's the same architecture since it was remodelled between 1830 and 1856. It's very charming in here. Every shop you pass, the owner seems to be a DJ rapping everything he sells. Recife does have a great beach and it does seem like a good option. See our other films on Cabo Frio and Rio, which are totally different.